In this video, we'll build something new that helped me and others to find more meaning and overcome being stuck. I'll reveal my entire system that I use and we'll see what you can easily copy from it. Hope you enjoy this. Life can happen without us exercising the full force of our intent. One day here, one swipe, one wasted hour, day, week, sucked into this digital void and the truly meaningful moments get pushed. Here I don't mean the productive moments necessarily, but those sweet experiences that elevate our whole existence. The things you'd like to do perhaps when you're rested and free, perhaps tomorrow, but couldn't possibly commit to today. When you have just enough energy to barely pick up the right video to watch. We are fully physical beings, trapped in an overwhelmingly digital world. I contemplated on this. What remains is the story we write with our actions. It may be a story with an audience of one, but it's such an important story to take charge of and author. No one else will. So I set out to build something that nudges and encourages a better story to weave itself into my life one moment at a time. What I came up with worked really well. Everything starts out with a rough, innocent, naive idea. Here, in a world of digital noise and of digital memories, I wanted something that can physically write my epic or lame building blocks for the story of life, help me surface patterns in a meaningful way and motivate me into greater and greater action. At first, I thought I needed an entire motion system for this, with stepper motors, a pen holder, the whole thing. This was much more difficult than I thought. There were a bunch of challenges to sort through. Keeping this whole thing energized 24-7 would take a lot of power. Designing a motion system can be complicated with a lot of moving pieces. Keeping a pen at the ready the entire day is also challenging. Feeding paper, another part of it. As I was going through that, it became quite obvious that this was too complicated. Not impossible, but complicated enough that I'd put it off indefinitely. It was clear that I had to drastically reduce complexity to actually be able to ship it. And as I was thinking that, I had this penny drop moment. I needed receipts. That was it. Because what is my story if not bringing the receipts for the life I lead? I instantly loved the poetry of that. There were less moving pieces to worry about. I had a thermal print head, a microcontroller, or a roll of paper, which sure is not permanent permanent, but permanent enough for this, a power source and a firmware to bring the vision to life. As I waited for the parts, I started plotting out my way through the firmware. In my vision, there were multiple components to this whole thing, so I had to really divide and conquer. The printing itself, which I wanted to happen in a particular way, with a header for the date and a message in a particular orientation for the design to come together. I wanted it to connect to Wi-Fi and give me accurate time. I wanted a web server and a page, but I didn't just want any page. I wanted it to be sleek, nice, modern. And then there's also the logic flowing conditions. Connect to Wi-Fi, start the server, get the time, serve the designed page, receive the submissions, parse it and then print it. Usually the levels boss fight awaits at the end. Things are a lot messier in reality. You wouldn't think that just hooking up the printer would be difficult. In fact you'd imagine the internet is littered with good hello world tutorials. Not here, at least not that I could find. Just this one document that was confusing for me to go through and the cables that printer shipped with. Look at these markers. Ground twice. What do I do with that? Do I hook up both? Can I get away with just one? At first I couldn't quite figure out how to print at all. Forget about any of the complications. All I could do was make it flash a red light. And then it turns out that the connector they put in the box breaks the standard. It's the red that I actually want as ground, not the black. Finally I got it to boot and do a self test but I couldn't transmit to it for the life of me. Turns out the hardware RX and TX ports stop you from being able to right to the controller. So I learned some more and switched to software serial. Now I was finally in business. The text was not coming in the right orientation and this was essential for the overall form I had in mind. The paper had to curl in a particular way. So what do I do to rotate the words? Maybe via a clever function? No. This Adafruit library I was using doesn't have that. Maybe by turning text to bitmap? Nope. That was a waste of time and thermal paper. I couldn't do it reliably enough on the controller itself and I really didn't want other services or subscriptions. All had to be done offline inside of this hardware. Finally I managed 
managed to do this via some direct printer commands which weren't easy to get to given the documentation. I felt like I was a true hacker at this stage. You'd think we're done and we can move on but I wasn't done. This broke the order of the lines and breaks between them. So it did rotate the text successfully but it retained the order of the printing so the lines came out in reverse. So I had to write up a whole industry around reversing lines and word wrapping since this wasn't a feature that I can find either. Great. About a week into this I finally managed to get consistent results. In fact I polished up the sleek minimal UI and even added an API pathway to integrate with other automations like Apple shortcuts for example. More on that later when I show you how I use this thing. But for now let's have some fun talking about product design. I went off the beaten path for inspiration. I found a lot in Dali's compositions and Gaudi's architecture. I loved how they bent shapes for an organic look. My functionalist design had to dial down the embellishment a lot and simplify everything. But I retained just a pinch of their design essence and proportions. I wanted it to look organic without any sharp corners and hint back at life. I wanted it to feel reminiscent of an hourglass with all of these shapes and curves. That flow down or up depending on your perspective and I wanted to tuck away the wires and mess. I also wanted to make this relatively easy to print and scale. So the obvious decision was to split it in two. This would allow me to change the shape of the neck, bend it, elongate it and allow the positioning of the unit to be as interesting as you'd like it. Maybe on a desk, maybe against the wall. Printing proved to be a pain. In fact the orientation I went with meant a lot of supports. I got it pleasant enough for a prototype and used it to change dimensions. I was very pleased with just how well the foot worked with its channel to route the wire through. I've never done this before and it looks so good and clean and with a bit more crimping and heat shrink tube we had a prototype. As I looked at it I realized this could really benefit from a more professional shell especially as I wanted it to be a display piece. Luckily PCBWay reached out and helped me with the printing and some of the costs for this video. This is massive for me I've never done this before and they were so kind and so helpful. I'll show you how the print turned out in a second, but if you'd like to use their services, any of them, including 3D printing to a finish that I can only dream of, you can get a discount if you use the link in the description. Plus, you'd help the channel as well. Let me show you how this turned out. your faithful, reliable, frictionless, open source note taker that requires minimum power and consumables to translate into reality those great feats of yours. No cloud services, no ink drying or paper jamming, it all works when you need it. A simple system to help you capture and adjust course in the authorship of your life's great story, adventures or side quests. It's completely free and open source, so you can become as sophisticated or as simple with this as you want. You can even change its function entirely to fit your needs. On a daily basis I use both the web page and the API. With the web page I have a shortcut on my desktop and phone. When designing it I try to keep it really minimalistic and elegant and try to make it as frictionless as possible to plug in information. The message is directly sent to the printer to scribe into your story. I also love playing a little with the API that I baked in. Here is where you can easily customize everything a lot. For example just by using the native shortcuts application on my phone I built an automation to to capture messages when I'm doing a lot outside, then when I'm back, aggregate all the messages into a condensed version of that with ChatGPT, which Scribe promptly then commits to paper. Of course, you can do many other things here. For example, store all your messages into a local spreadsheet, which you can parse for meaning and trends, or trigger other behaviors with the printer. As for my own routine, I genuinely found myself so many times actively searching for tasks to cross off my list to be able to trigger this virtuous cycle.
recycle and the confetti that comes with the printing. But there is more than the energy you get from the recording itself. I push myself into a habit of doing end of month reviews with myself to see where I'm at against my hopes, dreams, aspirations. This fits perfectly with that. I used to dread doing these reviews, but actually I found these scrolls to be really useful. They turned something that had quite a bit of friction and dryness into something a lot more fun with physical stuff to play around with. I really get hands on with this. I cut it, highlight it, write on it. It's a great experience and I noticed the difference from the first month of doing this. And if you want to try this out, we'll get into that in a second. But first, I want to just quickly remind you, if you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe and drop a comment. It's super rewarding. I'm thinking to build this out more. For the design, I was thinking of adding a post flag to show when you've done your job for that day. Maybe some LEDs in the base for an extra level of sensory delight. And for the functionality itself, I have some ideas. For example, have an implementation around the photo of the day, perhaps. I just haven't figured out a good design for this yet. Which brings me to perhaps the most exciting part of this process, sharing this with you and seeing what you come up with. I made my entire work on this completely free and available. Download the models and the code and do with it as you'd like. I even wrote instructions regarding what components you need and how to put everything together as best as I could to help you avoid all of the pains that I went through. So you can just go ahead, print it, pick up the components from the link below, flash the firmware and have a blast. If you don't have a 3D printer yourself, you've got the PCB way option via the link in the description. If you have ideas yourself to build this out and extend it further, both the firmware and the hardware, please please do so. GitHub is ready for you to copy my code, fix it, adapt it and improve it. Maybe you want this to connect to your chat GPT or calendar and print out your schedule each morning or print out a quick news briefing specifically tailored for you or, you know, a daily meditation or a random shower thought from Reddit or new tickets from GitHub or Jira or a daily joke at the end of a difficult day. It's really fun to eat to read through the system and I can't wait to see what you do with this. You know, it's truly a great time to be alive. I started with just an idea. I played, I wrestled and while doing it and definitely in the first rounds, I had no clue it was going to actually lead to anything. In fact, at various points I was certain it wouldn't. After all, in creative pursuits, a good destination is not guaranteed. I was fortunate enough this time to learn, grow somewhat and eventually arrive at an object that is interesting and pleasing, works well, is integrated and has a simple elegance to it. None of the complicated systems my mind overanalyzed at the start of it all, in service of an otherwise beautifully clear idea. And I got to put this all together. Me, the person who knows nothing really about anything. Just an opinionated amateur with ideas, some stubbornness and just enough ignorance to jump into things bigger than he imagines they are. Now, if I can do this, you can definitely do so much. So go out there, build this or something else, share your gifts with the world, write up your story, one action at a time.